snooping around, trying to see what type of information I can get out of this office. I mean, free stuff is cool too, I'll take that. And a gun? Why on earth would she need a gun for? I guess there's... Wait, who ate my lunch? That is a good mystery as well. Unfortunately, I can't help you, so... Sealed. Right. Alright, so... Utility terminal. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to... Get into this damn terminal. Let me see something. Sealed. Everything is sealed upstairs. Uh, I don't know what to do. Everything is turned off. I can't even get in. Hold on. I got an idea. So maybe I can access this. Wait, what's this? Dr. Blossom, I apologize, but I wouldn't be doing the team justice if I didn't question the budget cuts this lab has seen. We've had to shelf three products, and we're losing two more researchers? Honestly, whatever's being developed in the lab across the hall better be more addictive than Adrena Time. I apologize for our team's outburst at the product presentation. I assure you, we didn't intentionally mean to scream in terror and assume the fetal position when Spectrum Brown and its slogan were unrevealed. It has to be something the marketing lab did. For law's sake, they aren't even real scientists. Okay. I am sending this message to both teams in the marketing and product labs. I do not know the extent of your squabbles, but they end here. If it weren't for the incredible projections Spectrum Brown shows, we'd all be out of work after that embarrassment at the presentation. I expect more from both departments. What in blessed corporate law is all that commotion down there? I don't believe the rocket fuel combination distillery mixture was scheduled for another week. Could someone please inform me as to what the racket is all about? You better have a damn good reason for interrupting my meeting with the administrator. I expect a full explanation and apology within the next 15 minutes, or people are going to start losing jobs. Shut up! Okay, so there is no... No way for me to... Ugh. Great. What the hell? I see it now. I'm sorry, I had to. Like, it's so sad how we Loki have to kill these people to defend ourselves, but what do you expect me to do? Okay, so... Oh, I found something. Okay. Alright, so we got everything at this point. You really gonna bug me about that now? Oh my god, look at this. 
I see flies on the body. That guy's dead. I mean, I'm taking all this too for compensation, but my goodness, it's insane. And they're throwing them in here to be burned. What? So I'm in the morgue. Oof. And this is where they keep all of the bodies. This is insane. I mean, like I said, I like to take stuff. Ooh. Sulfur soaked top hat. This top hat once belonged to Captain Facian of Byzantium, last seen on Terror on Monarch, standing much too close to the edge of a sulfur pit. This pundit accessory should serve as a reminder of the many terrible dangers found as on Monarch, and a further further example of why no self-respecting Halcyon knight should ever visit. I can't even take it either. Alright, so let's go. Nothing to see here. No clues of any kind. I mean, don't mind if I do, but still. Okay, so upstairs. Upstairs. Someone got killed! Oh no! We were conveniently too late! Oh, shit! This case just got a bit more interesting. Oh no! Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Confirmation of discrepancy confirmed. This person is most definitely dead. But recently, they were still alive. You're sure you heard gunshot earlier, yet this victim's loss of blood is oddly minimal. Huh. So is this person pretending to? But then the machine just said that it was dead, so... Although you distinctly remember hearing gunshots over the intercom, you don't see any bullet castings. So, I'm assuming, obviously, it's not a pistol or any weapon that has bullets. It must be some laser or plasma. Anyone else think there should be more bullet holes here? Yeah. An awful place to die. What do you think happened to her? Um, strange. I heard gunshots over the intercom, but don't see any castings. I remember those gunshots. Energy weapons don't sound that way. The killer must have been using something exotic. Hmm. I see something. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. The organic matter that comprises this lab worker died at a similar time and of similar circumstance as the other corpses already scanned. And there's nothing for me to take. Tragic indeed. And the doctor's dead, like... The organic matter that comprises this lab worker died at a similar time and of similar circumstance as the other corpses already scanned. This person just came here, shot everyone up, and then just bounced. Como si na? Like, this is insane. Hold on. So, 
error file deleted was successfully downloaded to external data cartilage. Apologies for the late notice, but Miss Bellamy has requested a tour of the facilities while she is visiting Iridanos as Halcyon Helen. Please prepare for her arrival in the morning. Where, Lyra, you did it again. At long last, you located a bottle of Spectrum Black hidden in a crevice of musty shelf space in the storage warehouse last night. That much closer to finally getting the Spectrum Gatlin to work. And what happened? You got all the way back to the water tower before running into a group of primals already diverting themselves with fruits of the fermented variety. One bad blackout later, and here you are, covered in primal vomit without the spectrum black. Get it together. What in blessed corporate law is all... Okay, that's, that's that stupid message earlier. Wait, hold on. Tests involving the parasite Iridanium guy gases, colloquially dubbed slugs, have produced astonishing results. Even when compared against our most promising methods of producing a brain chemical dependency, the pheromone the Iridanium gases secretes produces dopamine more effectively than anything on record. Further tests were continue researching how much of the compound we can introduce to subjects and observe the effects. Despite our less than ideal presentation to administration, the product impressed for two main reasons. As mentioned before, this product will produce that boozy, feel-good stimulus like no other. But more importantly, the pheromones makeup is completely unique, which means there are no regulations surrounding its classification. The idea of a completely addictive product with zero laws surrounding it would certainly justify any means. What kind of monster kills all these people over a data cartridge? Yeah, I agree. But then again, we are dealing with a corporation. So are you really surprised? Because I know I'm not. Huh. Interesting. The Gantling taunts me from behind its glass cage. The infernal void damn thing refuses to work and I know the exact cause. It's me. Why am I wired like this? Why? Whenever I tried to fiddle with the internal sober, I broke parts off. Or connections failed to fire. Or pieces stuck out of the casting and shortened out other components. So of course, the solution was obvious. Get at least a little plastered prior to the work period, every work period. When I'm relaxed, my hands don't shake and it's so much easier to see where things should fit or how to bridge certain connections. Sounds like you're an alcoholic, but okay. The problem, of course, is that I also get artistic. Why should a weapon work on mechanics alone? Why shouldn't you have to, say, slot one of every single fucking kind of spectrum vodka into the thing before you were fired for the first time? I don't even know if it's tied to the weapon's internals or if it's some kind of lock, but it seems like it should fire and absolutely will not. I have to get one of every kind of spectrum, including black. I can only hope the storage warehouse has had a recent shipment of the entire spectrum. All this work will have been for nothing. I have to be the dumbest genius this side of Halcyon. Um... Let me see here. Let me take a look to see if there's anything. I sense that there's a discrepancy over here, so let me go through. I don't see anyone else in here. They ran to the elevator? Body heat readings indicate that the culprit was just here, mere moments earlier in the timeline. Okay. Looks like a standard ventilation shaft to me. Somebody around my size could have crawled in. Wouldn't have been comfortable or, you know, clean. Ventilation shafts usually turn into sprat nests. There's a cut wire in the box. Someone wanted the power cut to something. But you're not quite sure what. Hmm. 
Either way, it seems like the person who you killed see that the... red wire. Yeah. Whoever cut that wire was trying to disrupt the circuit. They could have sealed the lab doors temporarily, at least until the fail safes kicked in. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. It makes sense as to why they were able to get away so quickly. How sad indeed. Let me go ahead and investigate this terminal even more. I'm just curious. Because I know I definitely want to help the doctor with getting all of the drinks, so... Attention all personnel. Unscheduled pollinization cycle is about to commence. Please evacuate the orchards at this time. Releasing the wasquitos for pollinization. What? The cycle is now in progress. No! Oh, I don't know what a fuck. Is. I don't particularly want to know what a wasquito is. Mm. We're about to go find out, aren't we? Yes, we are, Nokia. Because we have the worst luck of all time. Oh, shit. Oh, Lord. All right. I'm ready for this. Uh, yeah, I'm not, but... Shit, 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 shit! Eee! Oh, mm. I'm not trying to get bit. Ooh. I got you, girl! Nioka, this is horrible. Lord have mercy. We're just trying to, like, get to the terminal at this point. And these waspedos. Shit! They're worse than the fleas in Monarch. These uh, waspedos are pretty hard to kill, honestly. But I'm glad we got rid of them. Oh! What's this? Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. I'm surprised you're still here, but whatever. Ooh, ooh. I'm sorry if I shot you by accident. My bad. I'm not. Oh my god. And I'm running out of bullets for this gun, too. Like, that's the worst part. Shit. Now I got you. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Really? Oh, you bastard. The fact that you said that. Alright, well, I'm gonna use my flame thrower for this one, so. Woo! My goodness. Ugh, that's nasty. Alright, so let me check this place out. Oh my god, it's like, the more I get into it, into this case, the worse it gets. Someone needs to get to hive control to shut down the swarms. Got it. Uh, what's this? Wespedos keep seeing bees breaking their stingers and dying. Should probably keep them separate. 
Okay, do we really got number? Blah, blah, blah. Anyways. The purple berries are growing a heck of a lot faster than the auto mechanicals can pick them. I should be mighty perturbed by what we're wasting, but since I had that treatment, all I felt is glad about things. Goodness, this promotion sure was a life changer. Speaking of, Rudy, I have a feeling you're reading this. Caught you a couple times peering at me from behind hedges and the like. How about you swing by my shack and we bury the hatchet? I'm a changed man since you recommended me for this promotion. Got a bottle of Spectrum Vodka we can share. And a chapter of the brand new Halcyon Helen cereal. Knew you never liked that. I got advanced copies. Huh. I must admit that when your old supervisor described you as a misanthropic, law-damped, redacted, okay, a curse word, I did not expect you would ever assimilate to a position so many others have loathed. Protectivity is at an all-time high, and what's more, you're not only impressed many visitors with your wonderful attitude, but you somehow seem to get along well with the waspidos. Or at least, they haven't killed you yet. I would like to offer you a non -presen -presen Sorry, I'm having a brain fart here. Unprecedented reward. A one-time 15-minute break to be taken at your discretion? Fuck this company. So, Jacob, got a quick rhetorical question for you. Let's say rhetorically that one of the wilderness exploitation reserve Keepers got drunk and thought he'll indulge himself in some after-hours hunting. Let's say he theoretically released our primals, and those primals theoretically proceeded to beat him to death with his own rifle, then escaped to the orchard. This is a very specific, detailed theoretical. Obviously, I'm just worrying for the sake of worrying, but if something like that were to happen, and I'm not saying it did, especially since such a screw-up could cost me my job, Theori theor <laughs> Theoretically, Rizzles may have tested some of their products on these primals, and these primals may have acquired a taste for Rizzles booze. Booze that I know you have stocked in the orchards, which is why they were drunk when we fought, fought them. It makes total sense. Look, if you see any wayward primals, and I'm not saying you will, please, for the love of the law, send me a message. Right. Alright, so you should be good. And I see Vaca. Nice. And I can sense that there's two more here. So I'm definitely gonna go get both of them at least. Oh, come on. Come on, what is this? Fuck me, there's a whole bunch of them over there. I'm going this way. Oh, oh lord. They got a hedge maze? Captain, we gotta. Go inside? Please visit the Purpleberry Nut Hut to purchase an audio tour today. Okay, I guess we're gonna need to go inside this hedge maze. Are you friend or foe? Samuel? They can't activate the pollinization cycle while guests are here. I'm filing a lawsuit. I mean, go ahead. I'm not stopping you. Okay, so where is this? Huh. Oh, Lord. Are you friend or foe? Processing for formation. Oh, shit. Why did I think that was a good idea? Oh, careful, honey. Do not... Do not get in the way of me shooting, please. I will be so devastated if something bad like that were to happen to you and you died. Like, I would never forgive myself for accidentally killing this body. Oh, Lord. Even these robots are out of control. Like, what the hell? Ooh. I'll take that. And is this it? Nice. 
Now we got this one. I think we got one more to go. I'm not sure. It's a cute little maze. I got it, but I'm leaving, so. Ugh. I'm gonna pull this out just in case because last thing I need is for those WAP speedos to suck me dry. If there is anything that I hate more, it would be a mosquito. Where? Oh, okay. I guess we're finding them. There you go, there you go. Ooh! Please leave me alone. Ooh! I'm being harassed. Ooh! Ooh! You know what? This is my 13th reason. Just wanted to do them for a waspito. A waspito. Oh no! You bastard! Oh honey, no! I got you, Nyoka. Just take your time, okay? Karate would be good. She's just taking a nap, okay? Horrible! It's so hard to kill them! Oh, now we gotta do with the fucking primal. Oh, fuck me. Ooh. Oh, Nyoka. Okay, that's cool. I'm glad you're here. And she's awake. Nice. Um, I say we walk Big away. Mistake. Oh, fuck me. I guess we can't walk away. Oh, yeah, he's drunk. Drunk in anger at this point. Oh, could not catch me slipping. Get him! Covering you. Wow, she... she shot him into dust. I'm impressed. All right, so where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, right here, all the way from the beginning. Purple berry nut hut. Um, are you okay? Gosh and golly, we might get stung to death unless someone aborts the pollinization cycle. How exciting! I don't know if you're sarcastic or you're just high. Either way, I am so sorry. Um, is there any way I can, like, get in? Or nah? Um, I'll go this way, maybe? Hey, I got in. Um. I mean... Okay, so clearly she's delirious. She can't really help me get more vodka. So the best thing would be for me to actually turn off the pollen station cycle. So I'll definitely... Wait, what is that? Oh man, this is getting worse than I thought. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.